Hey! Don't touch her. What up, though, God Gang? It's your boy Kelvin J, man, back with another video. Today we about to tap into to see this lady, man. She crashed and apparently killed two toddlers, man. Let's go and see what's up with this report. For days, people deeply affected by the loss of Taylor and Rose Wilmer have built a memorial in their honor. Both were killed in a suspected DUI crash, and now we're getting an inside look into the tragic moments following their death. I will warn you, some images may be disturbing. It started with a flurry of 911 calls. Oh my gosh, it's a baby. We got a bad accident. A baby's gone. A baby. The baby's dead. I understand. We're on the way, okay? Help us coming. Minutes later, police arrive. We got medical on the way, guys. To find a horrific scene. The mom and aunt of two slain toddlers slumped over in the front seat. One of the toddlers thrown into the street. Who else is in the car? The baby's over here. Hey. There's a baby back there, too. Baby back here has no head. Dang, she said the baby back there has no head? That's crazy. Oh, Christ. From the driver's seat, Aunt Kalea Manning is taken to the hospital and later arrested for DUI causing hey, death. Stop touching the child. You're going to cause more harm than, than there is done already. Mom Renisa Washington is also arrested at the hospital for neglecting to put the children in proper safety seats. You're under arrest for felony child abuse and neglect resulting in death for your two kids. Washington hmm. seems not to believe nope. the situation she's found herself in. So you're not serious? Oh, I am serious. I am serious, yes. You are under arrest right now. Despite the charges Washington now faces, Taylor and Rose's father said at a vigil for his kids over the weekend that he harbors no ill will against the mother of his children. I always loved you. I never judge you from what you did. I know you love our kids. North Las Vegas. That's powerful right there. That is powerful. You know, the love of God can pull that for you. That is powerful. For him to not hold any hatred, any grudge towards that woman, you know, like he said, he knows that, you know, she loved the kids, so he's not going to allow a drunk night, you know, her driving drunk, making bad, poor decisions in that sense. He's not going to allow that to, you know, hold of how she felt towards the kids because he must have actually witnessed her, you know, raising the kids, being with the kids and all that kind of stuff. So that's that's good on him, man. That's good on him. You shouldn't hold no hatred. You know, it's an unfortunate situation, but, you know. Las Vegas police say that this serves as a stark reminder that you should never drink and drive and always properly restrain your children while driving because this really could happen to you. In the studio, I'm Sean Delancey. Hey! Don't touch her. Who else is in the car? There's a baby back there too. That's crazy. The baby right here has no head. I guess her ham is so just George, that we got uh, three children in the, in one the accident. Is Does everybody want to be out hey, partying? Hey, stop and touching the child. Drinking. You're going to cause more harm than, than there is done already. Do you understand? All right. She's, there's another child over there that's I breathing. I caused time the past thing was missed up. Whatever. She sound like she just up there wasted driving home. All right, we get out of a choco. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out of the choco. Video captures chaotic arrest after teens crash hard and flee the scene. Dog then went wild for a minute. Hey, at least he had the dog in check. This one right here? Huh? Come here. Come here. Come here now. Stand right there. Stand back. Stand. Look at him. Look at him. My man putting in that work, man. He came to work, came on scene, putting things in order, putting people in check, taking control of the scene. That is how you do it as a cop. Let's go. What is he over there choking? Just don't say anything. I want you three to shut up and don't say a damn thing. Don't tell me to shut up. Why don't you go with him? He's sitting in the front of the house. Are you
you doing? All right. Man puts his daughter in a very bad situation. Okay. So this car ran from the police a couple weeks ago. So this car is ours. This is my wife. This is my wife's car. Okay. Yeah. The car ran from us a couple weeks ago, and y'all changed the place on it. So the car is now ours. You serious? Yeah. Uh huh. One hundred percent. This attorney's off office seizing this car. Hey. Would have your kids step out? We're gonna do a quick search of it, and then we're gonna have you remove your property. Okay. So my man goes in the car, looked like he's went for a gun. He went to grab a gun out of the car while his daughter is standing right there on the side of him. Daughter standing right there. Get him! Oh. How you doing? And that's, that's poor decision making, man. You got your daughter there. You got your kids there, man. Now what if the cops pull their weapons and start shooting back at you and your daughter gets hit in a line of fire? Got to think about your kids, man. This is just absurd, man. Y'all go ahead and comment, like, hit that uh that notification bell, man. God gang.